Welcome adventurer, today we're gonna complete one of the most secret quests of the Baldur's Gate 3 and it's called Discover the History of Prince Orpheus and it's one of the personal quests. To get this quest we must travel to the Underdark, to the Arcane Tower. I bet you know this place, do you remember this turret? Oh, it was so painful. And you need to be a get Yankee or have a get Yankee in your team. Gladly we have a Lysel. Let's enter elevator. Come on, Lysel, you can do it. And we need to ascend to a higher level. Yes, to this one. And you see, on the table there will be a strange device. Let's take a closer look, let's pick it up and examine it. Hmm. An engraved disc. Hmm, very interesting, but actually this is not what we are looking for, but we need it anyway. The thing we are looking for will be on this bookshelf, right over here, let's pick it up. This disc is embellished with Tirsu script. But every glyph is bent or mirrored. Every symbol disordered. I can make no sense of it. Ah, the cipher. I can use it to unmuddle this mess. Yes, I see shape. I see structure. I see... a story. The Prince of the Comet, Part 1 So it was that we were free from Geich shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered, and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the Hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Vlakith would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Vlakith seized the Empire against the Mother's wishes. But Gith had nurtured a son. Orpheus, Prince of the Comet, the true heir. He knew Vlakith's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The War of the Comet had begun. All of it drivel. Gith declared Vlakith queen of the Empire, and her own son defied her. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Geich. So, the Vlakith is a false queen, and Orpheus is a true Herod? Unbelievable! But you know what? We need to find two more discs. Let's do it. To get the next one, we must travel to get Yankee Crash Yelik, and there will be a classroom, and here will be a teacher and a bad student. There will be two options. You can allow teacher to kill the student, or you can save him using perception check. It will be very hard to do, but if you manage, this student will be over here. Let's go and talk to him. Would have smeared you across that was amazing. Uh, I've never seen someone talk the Savage down from a rage like that. Oh, He's yeah, always he telling wasn't us how rage. we have to be ruthless. That death is the only mercy we deliver. But you... You showed compassion and kindness. You're just like... Never mind. Whom? Who do you mean? And of course, you have to talk with him, with Lysel. Or if you are get Yankee, it also will be good. Your teacher has forgotten what truly makes a warrior. You... you think so? What... what does it mean to be a warrior then? Warriors make war, we fight for something, not just to kill. Yes, you're right. There's more to it than just... killing. There has to be. At least, that's what Prince Orpheus says. He's oh, so strong Prince Orpheus. And, and wise. 
and he rides a comet. <laughs> a comet! I know we're forbidden to talk about him. They say Vlakith can hear you think his name. I found his book. Part of it, anyway. I read it all the time. He's unbelievable. He is good. He is true owner. But you know what? We need this book. Can I have it? You want me to? No, it's mine. What do you mean? No. I have to keep it safe. And it over. No, please, don't tell the Savage. He'll kill me. J just take it. I'm sorry. I will not fail him again. Vlakith Gug Shkatzai. Maybe there will be better dialogue option, but nevertheless, we got the book part two. And later in the campsite, you can talk about it with Lysel. You must have questions. Please tell me about it, Gis. Your mind connects with Lysel's, and together you envision the Githyanki disc. Another part of the Orpheus tale. This one has been translated to common. I'd like to hear the story. Fine. The Prince of the Comet, Part 2. The Prince of the Comet, Orpheus himself, led his honor guard into battle. Their red dragons bellowed with righteous anger, and the heavens erupted. The glorious prince cried to all who could hear him, Praise be to my mother Gith, the queen of the one sky, sacrificed to the hells by the renegade Vlakith. But the true heir, the prince of the comet, could not overcome Vlakith's knights and their ill-gotten worms. Mighty Vos, Gestil Kithrak, lit the astral sky aflame. When the ash had cleared, beloved Orpheus was gone. True heir, glorious prince, Chuk. there's no greater crime than to exalt the pretender called Orpheus. Disregard this, this drivel. Gith declared that Vlakith should be queen. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Gaeh. And what if all of that is true? She did nothing of the sort. Thank your good fortunes, I'm a tolerant woman, or I'd have sliced off a few toes for suggesting it. Well, I think now we need to find tome number three. And we will find it in the second chapter of the game in the Moonrise Tower, on the highest level in Balthazar's room. Just near the entrance, you see, I just opened the door. Over here will be the disc we need. Lysel, will you do me a favor? I will take my pick. Yeah. Tirsu's script adorns this slate. It shouldn't take much effort to decipher it. And there. From madness rises meaning. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. Oh, yeah. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver. That his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon Ephelamon. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale, but beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. No, no. Gith's son died to Voss's blade. Orpheus is no more. We will have a little conversation with Lazel, but take a look, quest updated, we collected all three books, but the quest is not finished yet, we must discover the fate of Prince Orpheus. Hmm, or what happened to him? Let's do it.
And then we complete the second chapter of the game and finally travel to Baldur's Gate. A lot of things will happen and one of them we will learn who is Prince Orpheus. We even gonna meet him and learn about his role in our adventure. It happened so that all the time he was with us in that artifact in the astral prison. But let's listen. We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith. Self. Orpheus? Impossible. He was slain by Shastil Kithrak himself. Quite possible, I assure you. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother left, the usurper took her place. Blacketh declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Blacketh wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prism. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Vos would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother. The Prince of the Comet. Listen close. The Empress spoke only in half-truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Vlacketh. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Our current Queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith 1. It was Kithrak Vos himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle, or so the Varshis teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. Well, what can I say? That was really unexpected. But nevertheless, the quest discovers the history of the Prince Orpheus is completed now. And of course, we got a new one and it's called Free Orpheus. But it will be a completely different story. I hope you enjoy my video and if you do, don't forget to like it and of course subscribe to see more Baldur's Gate adventures. And friends, what do you think about Prince Orpheus? Do you like him? With that said, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.